Right, a couple of weeks ago I did an experiment with making my own nickel plating solution and it seems to work okay, it came out quite good but I've had a couple of pointers since and done a little bit of research so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little experiment I've made a couple of little test pieces up which is a couple of bits of mild steel I'm going to dunk them in, the first one I'm going to do in my normal solution that I made a couple of weeks ago which is basically um, just some nickel plate dissolved in an electrolyte solution and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to add some zinc chloride and some boric acid and we'll see how much that improves the finish. So first thing we'll do, we'll get this one in, 3.3 volts and we'll leave it half an hour. Lighting's a bit crap in here, but as you can see, that's bubbling away quite nicely. Give that 30 minutes. So that's 30 minutes. Let's see what we've got. Going up on there, got a decent enough layer on. Right, let's do some mixing and see what results we can get. Right, first thing I'm going to add is the zinc chloride. Got it off eBay, small amount. The ratio seems to be between 10 and 30 grams per litre. So if I go about 15, I think we'll be far off, are we? <coughs> dodgy bag of white substance No, up 16, that'll do. Give that a good stir. So the next thing I need to do is get the pH value right. Apparently it needs to be about 4.5, so let's have a look. Got my litmus paper, I haven't used these stuffs in school. Quite brown that isn't it, what's that? It'll be about a 5 there, I reckon a 5. So we ain't far off, literally ain't far off are we? Gonna add a spoonful or so of boric acid and we'll see how we get on with that. Yeah, sort of five. I'll keep on adding that. Oh, can you see that quite well? Yeah. We'll keep going until we get it about right. So we're probably there. I think we're about there. That'll do. I don't want to go too far because if I take it too far, I won't be able to bring it back. Last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to filter this, get all the lumpy bits out of it. So all my filter is, is just a piece of cotton cloth cable tied to the thing, just to get all the lumpy bits out.
One eternity later. There we go, and I strongly recommend you don't use that for jam or any other sort of food stuff. So I've got my nicely filtered solution. New test piece, nicely clean, got two pot marks in it, so we know which is which. But I think we might be able to tell the difference anyway, so what we'll do, we'll give this one half an hour. Lovely jubbly. Anything happening? I think something's happening. Yeah, we're slowly getting some bubbles forming. Right, not as many bubbles as the old mixture. Seems to be a lot more even, so a lot calmer. We'll give that 30 minutes. We'll see how it looks. It's been 30 minutes. Let's get it out and have a look. Get the rinse off. So as you can see by my picture, the one on the left is nickel plated and the one on the right I've accidentally zinc plated because I use zinc chloride and not nickel chloride because I'm an idiot. Everybody knows you never go full retard. There we go, every day of school day and all that. And it's just yeah, helped me with my bit of a learning curve on that one, has it? Thanks for watching. <laughs>